All right, welcome to the first planning meeting officially for the project. So I kind of introduced the project already in a previous video where I kind of just showed you really high level of what the uh, .NET and React project is going to be. So this is going to be kind of the kickoff meeting. So we're on Trello.com. This is just one of many um, project uh, management software you can use. Another one is Jira. Uh, I use Jira at work, but I didn't really want to use Jira for this, to be honest, because I kind of wanted a little separation from that and my my actual life. <laughs> uh, so I'm using Trello. It's free. You can make an account. And I think this one's pretty, like, scaled back a bit. You know what I mean? Like, this has, uh, to make a, a card, I just hit add, and I can move these around really easily. So it seems pretty lightweight. Uh, but anyway, so this is going to be the kickoff. So what this is, is um, the kickoff meeting, if you want to call it that, for our project. And basically this is just going to be, after we slide it to in progress, uh, a way to track, you know, what we're doing in the project. So basically my plan is uh, I'm going to kick off the project officially in this video and then after this, we're going to create a, a story. So a story is a card um, on here, and then we're going to estimate it. So we're going to assign a point value, um, probably one, two, three, five, um, however long I think the work is going to take. Um, you can read a lot of information about what a point really means. Basically, it's kind of like an estimation of effort, uh, complexity, um, it's not so much about time specifically, although sometimes it gets equated to time in days, but that's not technically correct, but I'll let you read about it if you want to. There's a few books like Clean Architecture uh, is a good one. Um, I forget if the Clean Code book talks about it. I'm not sure. Um, basically, but if you want to do software development, software engineering, um, Honestly, about a quarter of the job, at least, is this kind of administrative stuff. So, right, so planning, design meetings, estimating, estimation meetings, um, you know, uh, research time, and just managing overall the overall admin of your project. So, in a typical card or user story, you'll see the title. Um, in a description. One thing that you can usually do, so you, I just kind of for fun here put let's get the project started as just a way to kind of show you what I started with. Um, more typically you're going to see criteria like what, um, why, and done when. And if you're working in any kind of um, like agile environment as it's called, uh, you're typically going to see this style format. Now you might see slight variations in, you know, terminology or whatever, but you're probably going to see something like this. Um, so for the what, we could say um, we officially begin the project. The why is, I don't know, we want to create a .NET plus react application to uh, work on engines. If you saw the last one, it's, it's basically going to be centered around two short engines. And the done when is we have officially kicked off the project. And we hit save, and that's about it. Obviously, this is a you know just a templated out, scaled down this nonsense car pretty much. But I just wanted to have something where I could drag to each of the spots in this um, in our, our our video here and kind of have it go through you know walk us through the process. Um, and the one thing I do have to find I'm not uh, since I've never used Trello is I don't know how you put points on. A board. I know how to do it in Jira, but I don't know how to do it. Custom fields? 
Oh, I bet you it's going to have us doing a trial. I don't want to start a trial. Um, man, does it really not allow us to estimate? Labels. What does it give us for labels? Cover. What is cover? You can put a picture on your... <laughs> All right, so if we're limited to not adding points right out of the box... Uh, we're just going to add it in the description. Um, that's fine. It's it's literally the exact same thing. It'll just make make it a little more odd to read. Okay, but anyway, so we start off with the kickoff. It's in progress. That means we're actively working on it. We're actively either adding code. We're actively planning, designing, having meetings, whatever it is. Once we have officially set ourselves up to be done, whether it's released, you know, We've released the code, it, it comes out in production. Uh, we've gotten whatever information we need for the research task or we've met with whoever. Whatever satisfies that done criteria and after you've got it checked off by all the people that need to check it off, then you would officially take the card and slide it into done. So for us, obviously kick off, we've kicked it off right now. There's nothing more that needs to happen. Um, the next one, though, I have lined up in the uh, to-do column is the project planning. The project planning is going to probably take us over the next, I'm guessing, three or four videos um, to really kind of get our, our, our backlog of stories created um, and to allow us to just start programming. We've already programmed a little bit, but that was just me kind of get, kind of getting the project prepared for a video. Um I'm, I'm, but I haven't, I've done like enough where it's, I haven't done too much, if that makes sense. I can go back and, and start fresh, which I might consider, but I, I think it might take a while to kind of go through a lot of the administrative stuff to set up the application. And I don't know if it would be, I don't know if it would be good video content compared to adding the features, which I think the features is really what is going to be fun to watch and, and code and stuff. Um, I do. I will. I will say, however, I am actively writing uh, a Medium article that outlines step by step how to make a .NET and React uh, web application. So I think that 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 will be enough supplemental material in combination with the videos to make it to to be real cohesive. And I think that administrative stuff, especially because of how much stuff you have to do, uh, is better served in a Medium article um, or or some kind of written form that you can go back and reference and honestly that I go back and reference too because the information is helpful for me. Um, it kind of came together about over a year of time from me working uh, my software engineer job. So I, I always take notes and this is kind of a culmination of notes over the past year about specific details to make this application um, really lightweight and also clean. So we'll cover that in the project planning. Um, and I'm going to drag that into to do next video when we actually start it. And I think I my guess I haven't done this I haven't done the card yet. If we open it up, you see I've just kind of stubbed it out. What, why, done, when? I believe we're going to create at least the research stories or some of the coding tasks that we can we can be working on. But that'll that the project planning will be a bit of time. Um, I'm guessing I'm guessing a week time. So we'll, when we when we go to do that, we'll have um, actually what we're talking about. Why don't we just do it now? So now that now that we've learned that we can't put points on the stories, uh, you know, I thought I was gonna get away with that <laughs> that one. Uh, we are going to do the the hack, and we'll say points. This is what we're gonna do because you have to sign up and pay for custom fields apparently. So we're not going to do that. Um, we are going to make it fancy and uh, put it there and put it in bold. <laughs> and I'm going to say that this is going to be a three point task, three, three points. And again, what three points, you, three points, it depends where you go. It depends where you work. For me, uh, a point, a point value, Again, it's not time. It it would seem to be a week ish, depending on how you look at it. Um, 
and depending on how your your sprints operate so a sprint is just a you know the 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 incremental time that you work in can be two weeks can be one week three weeks whatever it is um points fit into the sprint so you say okay this sprint i believe myself i'm going to complete six points um and that's going to be your estimate going into those next two weeks so that's how we're going to be kind of operating i don't know how fully i'm going to do that um, but i'm going to try to make it as realistic as possible so that you can get to experience what the typical life of software development really is um, and get into the weeds as much as we possibly can and that's the goal with this is to be i want this to be so realistic it feels like that we're actually working a real job and we're just going to capture it so that's my goal so the what for the project planning is we want to um, define the stories for new work and estimate the stories um, and I want to add a specific one here have at least uh, two weeks worth of uh, stories created oh, I think I want two weeks because I think that'll give me enough time where it's like I can make content for two weeks without doing too much planning and then we'll go back and do more research and planning after the why we need a we need stories to begin the project successfully and sometimes when you when you're writing these things it kind of feels like the why is a bit redundant to the what um, but the why especially in technical stories is helpful to think through because a lot of a lot of times technical specifications are dictated by business needs and I think that the, the sometimes the technical requirements really the why is more of like a business use case question and these should be answered by whoever owns the, the the product officially but in my case it's me so I have to define it and <laughs> you're not typically doing that at least I would I would hope not and if you are it they you know maybe your organization isn't well organized I don't know what the scenario is and then the done win is we have created um, we have created all the stories we need to load into the board and we also we have selected the first story to work on and then we have defined um, a priority of work so the done when is just kind of an explanation as like, okay, you know, these are the three bullet points. Once we've hit these three, we should be able to move it to done in, in theory. Um, the first one, we've created all the, the stories. I think that's straightforward. Second one is we have selected the first story to work on. So out of the ones I make, I need to start with one of them. So we need to, we need to figure that out in this one. And then we have defined it, the priority of work. So after I do the first one, what's the next two and three and so on? I think that's good for now. Um, I think that that's broad enough where we can begin, but it's specific enough where we can know when we're done. So we've made a three-point story. It's project planning. It's assigned to to me uh, because and I made it. <laughs> and I don't know if you can assign, but since I'm the only person on the board, I'm not going to worry about assigning it to myself because I'm the only one here. <laughs> and we've done that and then next video i'm going to officially move that into in progress and then we're going to have our we're going to have our research meeting we're going to have our design meeting and we're going to figure this stuff out and then i have a i have a kind of a, a, a first preliminary column called planning i don't know if i'm going to call it planning uh, all the way through but I, I need to figure out um some things that i already know i have to to research that i want to just get to make before I forgot is I need to research database providers. I think I'm going to go with Supabase. I don't know yet though. I want to find one that's obviously free to use, easily connectable, and that I it, that's easy to work with, which is nowadays more, you know, web-based approaches. I don't want to I'm trying to avoid having to to like download let's say like a MySQL workbench kind of thing. I don't want to do that. I do that at work. I want to do something new here. So I think I'm going to do Supabase because the, 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 the first level is free. And from what I've seen, it's really easy to make a schema 
and kind of in the UI adjust the databases and stuff like that. So I think it'll be, I think it'll be cool content. Another one I, th I thought was going to be um, like you can use AWS RDS, uh, you can use DynamoDB. I don't think I need a NoSQL database for this, so I think I'm going to stay away from a DynamoDB. Um, I've used Google Firebase in the past, so I don't want to do that. I really want to do something new, and I think it would kind of be good content to walk through and, and figure it out. So I, Supabase, I just keep seeing pop up, uh, and I've heard about it now at work and and just um, on YouTube. And then so I think I want to try it, and it looks it looks pretty cool, and they have a free tier. And the free tier will get us by, definitely. So, uh, and that way I don't have to worry about a database hosting, which I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to shy away from like, you know, let's say, okay, I have local MySQL now. How am I going to host that? Is it going to be in a Docker container? Am I going to use uh, uh, AWS Aurora with uh, MySQL? Things like that. I use I use AWS at work, so again I I'm trying to I'm trying to use new technologies right new elite new cloud technologies specifically because I'm trying to grow in that area. Um, so that's kind of where we're landing with Superbase. And also the second one is research uh, engine equations. So I have a book um, that. Uh, is the internal combustion engine in theory and practice. It's like an engine's textbook, and it has specific equations that I need to identify so that I can hard code those equations into the code so that we we can start. But that research will be just on my own. I can't really make content that well about it just because it's on a physical text. Uh, so once I get the equations defined, that's where they'll go. So I know I need to do those two things for sure. And then the research planning is going to be you know, let's figure the rest out. And I'm hoping that I can get actual code stories that I need to. One code story that I know for sure I need is the uh, actually making the, I don't want to say, is around the engine. All right, we'll get, we'll get there. Um, yeah, so I think that that is it for um, my Trello board. So I think I'm going to call it on this meeting, but yeah, so this is going to be it. Um, the next ones are going to be more exciting. This one's this boring planning, but this is a lot of what software engineering is. I spend a great deal of time on planning boards throughout the day, you know, at least an hour, right? <laughs> so if you're not this day in the life, you're, this is it. I mean, th this is a large portion. So there's always a ministry of overhead. Anyway, Let's call it here, and I'll see you on the next one.